We rollin' fat, heavy dice, droppin' B.A.B. Pay the price, play nice, cause that shit ain't free. We goin' back to attack, smackin' hack the black back. Check the crap till we whack a fat stack in the back. Roll it up, fuck, fuck, be the patient slap. Now you bitches had enough, you gotta get my rap This is a family Wanna show, right? You get it, you know, minute, then forget it. Uh, bitches know you don't fit it. You know, this is when you get it. <laughs> bitches mitigating and waiting and rating and saying, oh! Bad, we don't have time for this. Also, we need people to like you. You're the one viewers identify with, you know? The new guy that we're all rooting for. Yeah? Yes, you can't be all obnoxious and annoying. You're the naive, hey, let's just have fun guy. Yeah, that's so boring. It's your duty, all right? Do your duty. <laughs> duty. See, no one wants to laugh at jokes like that. You know, we introduce a game concept, you ask, okay, how does that work? And then we go through it. It's a formula, and it works. You'll never break me, Van Norman! Okay, we hate to do this, but we have no choice. Do what? Wait, no! <laughs> no turning back now, Ben! <laughs> Besides, we're going to have fun today! You know why? Ben? Hey, Ben! You know why? Why? Because the day we cover... Money and Equipment! But you know the best news of all... What's that? Well, you get to roll more dice. <laughs> roll the fat stack! Ben. Sorry. How much gold do I get? <laughs> As with everything in this game, you have to check a table. And that table is on page 140 of the rule book. Starting gold is based on your first level class. You're a fighter, so you get to roll 5d6. That's a lot of damn dice. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you multiply that number by 10 to get your total gold. Okay. <clears throat> the amalgam of space and time has all been prelude to this moment. I stand at the precipice, exposing the vagaries of my soul to the chaos and turpitude of a randomly generated number. Peace be with you all, and God save the queen. Um, hmm. 14, 14, is that good? Well, the average is 17. Uh. So no, no, that's not good at all. In fact, it's below average. But you know what? It happens. If we just rolled great every single time, life would be pretty boring. So, according to the table, you start with 140 gold pieces. So our first stop is weapons. Maybe you can just get it out of your system now, Ben. And my axe! Good call, Ivan. <laughs> weapons fall under a bunch of interlocking categories. The first is whether the weapon is simple, martial, or exotic. The simple weapons are easy to use. Martial weapons require some training, and exotic weapons require extensive training. All weapons are ranged, melee, or both. Ranged weapons include bows and crossbows. Melee weapons include swords and pole arms. Weapons that can be used as either melee or ranged include daggers, spears, and throwing axes. Now, if a melee weapon has a value in the ranged column on page 142 of the rulebook, that means it can be used as a melee weapon or it can be thrown. All weapons are either one-handed, two-handed, or both. These affect your damage bonuses, which are based on your strength. Choosing the correct weapon can be a very technical decision, making sure that you have all the lines up with your skills, feats, and your ratio bonuses. But then again, sometimes it's best to just pick a weapon because that's what your character wants to use. Both are perfectly fine. So, here's the weapons table. Ben? Axe. Sorry, axe, no, axe, sorry, sorry, sorry. axe. No, Dwarves no. won't use axes, Garthok wants an axe, so axe. Uh, axe? Axe! Are you sure about that? Okay, <laughs> what kind of axe? Oh god, there are different kinds of axes? Yeah. Uh, let's see, so since Garthok is going to be using a shield, he's going to want a one-handed axe, so then, uh, battle axe? Yeah, sure. Battle axe. Cost ten gold. Now, how about ranged weapons? Throwing axes! More axes! I want Garthok to be festooned with a myriad of axes, glittering harshly in the desert sun. Eight! I want eight throwing axes dangling from his chiseled, her suit torso. All right, eight axes. Now, each axe costs eight gold, so that's 64 whoa, gold. Whoa, 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 hang on. <laughs> each of those axes costs as much as a battle axe? Yep. Yep. Damn. Okay, so I guess just two axes? Then uh, an axe formation across Garthok's back, glittering in the desert moonlight. All right, sounds like a good plan. So that's 16 gold. You spent 26 gold so far. Uh, so what about my shield? That's actually in the armor section. It's only on the weapons table because you can attack with your shield. Right. So do you want any other weapons, like crossbows, you know, spears? All I need is a bunch of axes. Cool. Right. cool. Then let's move on to armor. Now armor is on page 149 of the rulebook. Couple of things to know about armor. 
First, the better your armor, the less likely you are to take damage. Makes sense. Also, the heavier your armor, the less nimble you are. This is why you don't see thieves scaling walls in full plate mail. Also makes sense. Mm -hmm. So the higher your armor shield bonus, the better your protection. This amount is added to determine your armor class. The higher your armor class, the harder you are to hit. Every character gets to apply their dexterity bonus to their armor class. However, if you're wearing armor, there is a cap to the amount that you can add. Right, so someone in full plate mail can only add a max of plus one from their dexterity to their armor class, while someone in leather armor can add up to plus six from their dexterity to the armor class. Good? Sure. <laughs> okay, so um, what strikes your fancy? Thanks, son. Armor is expensive. Yup. <laughs> I guess uh, the best value is scale mail for 50 gold. Yeah. Sounds about right. Cool. And I'll take a heavy wooden shield too for the plus two armor cl class bonus. Seven gold. Uh, cheaper than throwing axe. I'll throw a spike on that bastard too because Garthok. Cool. That's an extra 10 gold. Looking good, boss. So how much gold do you have left? Um, uh, uh, 49. Great. <laughs> hey. Arms and armor are going to be your major expenses because you're a fart fighter. Right. Everything else is covered under goods and services, which starts on 155 of the rule book. We're not going to cover all of the options, but just take a look and pick stuff. The one thing you want to keep an eye on, though, is encumbrance, and this is on page 171 of the rule book. You've got a 17 strength, so Garthot can comfortably carry 86 pounds, and your maximum load is 260 pounds. Right. You'll also want to make sure that Garthok has a way to carry gear, like backpacks and pouches and whatnot. Also, you get one free outfit under 10 gold, and those are listed on page 159. Okay. One item that comes highly recommended is class skill kits, which are located on page 158. They've got all the stuff your class will need for an adventure. All right, so we don't have a lot of time left in this episode, so we're going to have to have you fill out your character sheet very quickly. Are you up for it? I can do it! <laughs> right. On your mark, get set, go! Garthok has become whole. Let's dungeon. Almost right. ready. It's just a few more things we have to do to fill out until Garthok is ready for prime time. We need to calculate your armor class. It's this little part of the character sheet, and it's covered on page 179 of the rulebook. We'll do this really quick. I'll call out something and you tell me what your bonus is, okay? It'll be a good test. Okay. Armor bonus. Scale mail, plus five. Shield bonus. Uh, spiked heavy wooden shield, plus two. Shield focus feet adds plus one, so that's a total of plus three. Good. Dexterity bonus. 16 dexterity, plus three. Do you have the dodge feet? No. Great. Do you have any natural armor, like leathery skin or something like that? Probably not. Do you have magical deflection? I don't know what that is, so no. Awesome. So the base armor class is 10. Add five for armor, three for your shield, and three for dexterity. That gives you an armor class of 21. Oh, OK. Is that good? Yes. For first level, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Most one-hit die creatures have a plus one to hit. That means on a d20, they're going to have to roll a 20. That's very hard to do. Sweet. Garthok is indestructible. What's next? Um, saving throws. Aw, you guys like us. That's so cute. No time. <laughs> ben, there are three kinds of saving throws. Fortitude, reflex, and willpower. These throws help your character avoid bad things like spells, traps, and poisons. Your modifier is based on your ability score, plus any racial or feat bonuses. Fortitude adds your constitution bonus. Plus four. Good. Reflex is dexterity. Plus three. Mm-hmm. Willpower is wisdom. Shit, minus one. Got it. All right, one last thing. Hit points. What do I do? Take this and roll it. Okay. Why did you do that? I don't know. Here, roll it again. Okay. Uh... Eight. Very good. Now add plus one because fighter is your favorite class. Then add your constitution bonus. Okay, eight plus one plus four, 13. Woohoo! And Garthok is finished! Yay! Yeah! Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Let's play. We will, but before we do that, we have one more character concept to cover for you guys. This one doesn't involve Garthok, but it's very important. What's that? Yeah, and if you liked what you saw in this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like what you saw, then it's 100% Tyler's fault. We are just reading the dumb things that he writes. Either way, be sure to join us next time. Until then, we're Saving Throw and... Let's Dungeon! Let's dungeon!